Constitutional avoidance means a court won't rule on a constitutional question if it can be resolved another way, such as interpreting a statute to avoid a constitutional issue. Minimizing the decision of constitutional issues is an exercise of judicial restraint that respects the delicate separation of powers between branches. In Ashwander v. Tennessee Valley Authority, the Supreme Court ultimately decides to rule on a constitutional question, but a famous concurrence spotlights the doctrine of constitutional avoidance. In 1916, with World War I raging overseas, Congress passed the National Defense Act. The act authorized the construction of a Tennessee dam that would deliver the hydroelectric power needed to manufacture weapons. But the war ended before the dam could power the planned munitions factories. In 1933, Congress created an agency, the Tennessee Valley Authority, to administer the dam. The agency entered a contract with Alabama Power Company. The agency would buy property and power distribution lines from Alabama Power and sell the surplus power generated by the dam. George Ashwander and other shareholders sued to enjoin the transaction on multiple grounds. Among other claims, Ashwander argued that the agency exceeded the federal government's constitutional powers by acquiring power lines and selling electricity to consumers. The district court sided with the shareholders and held the contract unenforceable on constitutional grounds. The Fifth Circuit reversed, reasoning that Congress's commerce and war powers authorized the dam's original construction and Congress's power of disposition permitted it to sell surplus electricity. The Supreme Court granted the shareholders' petition for cert. In 